Okay, so this is a video on Mod Podging a puzzle at home, saving a puzzle. And um, I used a piece of basswood. I'll show you what it looks like on the back. And drilled a couple holes in there and glued the basswood on there with um, wood glue. And then, of course, you can hang it up like a painting. Okay, so I used Mod Podge, the matte, somewhat clear um, Mod Podge. I used this fancy Mod Podge brush. So what I did was I used a big piece of cardboard like this and I put parchment paper underneath and I did a coat on the top, flipped it over, did a coat on the back <clears throat> after it dried about a day and then flipped it over and did another coat on the front and then I flipped it over and glued this on there so you can see the basswood is mostly on the puzzle and that little piece is sticking up at the top where I drilled the holes so I wrote the date and our family we worked on the puzzle the name of the puzzle and who was the original artist and it was a 500 piece and so on so that's mod podging uh, and preserving a puzzle at home oh and of course one other thing I didn't mention which is when I put the wood glue on and glued the basswood back here I did um, you know put books and weights on it to kind of press it from the back as I you know had it, the glue drying so again it did squeeze out some of the glue here but otherwise it made a really good seal and if you know anything about wood glue you want to put some on the puzzle put some on the basswood before you join it together so anyway it sealed really nicely and it holds really well bye so it's not hard to do and it's a way of saving a puzzle but of course you can never do the puzzle again um, you can see I did get a little bit of wood glue spillage that came out here on the top but that's okay it looks pretty good and it's not framed but it hangs real nicely against the wall that basswood here in the back really helps keep it all together and it just requires a piece of string to hang it so like and subscribe below click the link uh, comment, and as Bob Ross says, God bless, goodbye.